Hello, my name is Tim Edwards and welcome to the Tim G. Edwards Music YouTube channel. This is lesson number 10 and today I want to teach you how to play the simplest version of the great hymn and famous hymn Amazing Grace written in 1772 by John Newton. Uh, this song is known and sung all over the world and it's estimated to be sung over 10 million times per year and has appeared on over 11,000 albums. So I'm excited about teaching you the, the simple version of this hymn using the chords of G, C, and D. Like my channel, uh, be sure and hit the like button sometimes uh, uh, after this lesson. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button just so you'll be kept notified when new video lessons have been uploaded. So let's get started on uh, teaching you this hymn. Okay, on this song we're going to use the chords of G, C, and D. And again, it's just a simple version of G, C, and D. In later lesson, I'll teach you uh, how to play a little bit more colorful uh, progression of Amazing Grace. Uh, by this time, you should know how to play G, C, and D, but just a quick review. We'll look at how to play G. Uh, we'll just place the first finger on the second fret of the fifth string and your second finger on the third fret of the very top sixth string and then your little finger on the first string on the bottom on the third fret and that makes the g chord okay to make the c chord you take finger number one place it on the second string of the first fret Finger number two on skip a, skip a string on fret number two on the fourth string and then stretch your third finger on the third fret of the fifth string and then strum all the strings except the top one. You want to mute it. And then to make the chord of D, you'll place your first finger on the second fret of the third string your second finger on the second fret of the first string and then your third finger on a third fret of the second string strum all strings except for the top one and that makes the d so g c and d okay now we're going to be playing this song in three four time what we learned in lesson number nine if you if you don't understand how, what I'm saying by three four time, you can in that lesson I teach you how to play in three four time versus four four time. But basically, it's just three beats per measure, three beats per measure. One two three, one two three. Okay. Now let's look at the chord progression of Amazing Grace. Chord progression: we're going to use two bars uh, or two measures of G, and then one measure of C and then three measures of G, back to G, and then two measures of D, two measures of G, one measure of C, and then two measures of G, one measure of D, and one, and then back to G again, okay? And also there is a pickup note, okay? Uh, on the very first bar to get us started. And what I mean by that, uh, if, we're, if we're playing in three, four time, uh, it'll be like one, two, three, one, two, amazing grace. So we'll start the song amazing uh, on the third beat. For example, one, two, three, one, two, amazing grace. Like that, okay, one, two, Amazing grace. So uh is on the third beat, and then maze uh, is on the first beat. Okay, like that. All right. So to play through this uh, chord progression real quick, it'll be like this: one, two, three, one, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved us 
rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And of course, that song has several verses, and it's just the same chord progression on that. Okay, so let's pivot to the practice backing track, and you'll hear me play this chord progression several times and you'll see me play and you'll hear me play on this okay so let's give it a try How did you do? Very good. It's a simple song to play, and it's a it's a beautiful song and worshipful song uh, about the amazing grace of Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, I just encourage you to, to practice this several times and practice singing it, uh, uh, singing this song to others and get others to join in and sing along with you as well. Okay, that is all for this lesson, and uh, again, please hit the subscribe button and the like button uh, if you like this channel just to, to show your support and so you'll be kept notified when new video lessons have been uploaded. Uh, the next lesson I plan to teach you the tablature or the melody of Amazing Grace. Just a very, very simple version of uh, being able to pick uh, the, the, the melody out of Amazing Grace and I know you'll enjoy that. So have a blessed day.